now I feel is a time where we need the imagination of artists so much. Janet, you had a wonderful big survey at the MCA Australia only last year. I mean, it feels just like yesterday and, you know, that explored all of the key themes within your practice around environment and conservation. And I thought we should just talk about the environment now because we're at this quite interesting point where, you know, the earth has this tiny moment for healing. I mean, during this crisis, of course, carbon emissions are down, you know, the air is very clear and so on. So I wonder if you could just talk about your thoughts in terms of environment right now, this sort of window for change, but also what lies ahead. I'm very, very concerned because I think there's a very false optimism happening. You know, you sort of say that carbon emissions are reduced, but meanwhile, so many other things are going on and um, environmental protections are being removed. Here in Australia, we're logging old growth forests. After we've had those catastrophic bushfires, which I thought was the time when we could begin a whole new approach to living in this land of ours. We are the country that will be most vulnerable to climate change and we do not have a government that addresses it. I feel totally consumed by this concern, looking particularly at the regeneration of the bushfire areas, which offered a moment of hope that I feel is being now eclipsed by this virus, which is as a result of us destroying ecosystems. And I really feel very motivated as an artist to try and work with this aspect of it. But, it, you know, with some time, with some reflection, I'm still really wanting to work on the a mourning and and of of what we've lost in those bushfires. We we've we need to really go back and have a reckoning with that, and bring about our own understanding of the crisis that we're in. So, what do you think we can learn from all this? I mean, surely there must be some lessons that we can take away. This is a very very political time, and yet artists. Uh, are invisible and we really need to be there and I think um, oh it's just so many um, possibilities but without being able to gather together we're we're actually um, weakened terribly by it Janet, you mentioned before, I mean, you said the word collaboration and that's one of the sort of founding tenets of your practice I mean you work with architects, environmentalists, scientists, you know, researchers, you work with different institutes as well as museums around the world. Um, I mean, I would think that collaboration is one of the ways. I agree with you. I definitely think it is. But, you know, to do all that, it's, you need to um, gather and connect with people, generate the ideas, because we, we have to um, imagine the possibilities and we have to really reimagine our futures and wish for our futures and make them happen but we really know we're in this terrible um, crisis and but no one's recognizing it as a crisis of climate change and man's destruction active destruction of the environment and this huge human centeredness we can see it before us in the dealing with this and the focus on the virus. So Janet, you've had quite an extraordinary experience just recently because you were in Taiwan only a month, a month and a half ago. You were installing and then opening a big new exhibition at the Yushu Museum there called Entangled Garden for Plant Memory. This is an extraordinary time to be in a place like Taiwan because of course, while you were there, the current COVID-19 crisis unfolded? Well, I'd been very prepared for it. Uh, and they had, and they were also very careful and cautious, but they weren't, they'd been through the SARS virus, you know, and they were so prepared for this. 
and they explained that to me and they were also saying you should stay here it's safer here than going back to Australia I feel it was like being in a bubble in a parallel world from the minute I arrived I felt things were being taken care of very carefully there which you know I left here before any any um, moves had been made to deal with social distancing and all of those things so I just felt uh, so fortunate to be in this very beautiful environment in a beautiful museum and garden but I almost felt guilty having an exhibition opening uh, when all around the world friends and gallery shows and things were all closing and museums closed everywhere and yet Taiwan was just functioning as normal we go out to dinner at night. We gather in you know, without social distancing. I had a three-day opening with loads of people and everyone with masks and everybody careful, but no one seemed preoccupied about it. And it just felt like such an extremely different world that I was in. And it was like my secret um, to be able to make that show and there it is it's running and and um, as I said I almost feel guilty uh, about it but it, yet it was a great experience it was a very very beautiful opportunity for me that I can't believe why I should have been so lucky and it, it, it's sort of funny how you feel like you, you we're all sharing this huge thing in the world, but yet you can step into different spaces of experience of it. Janet, we've talked about lots of really interesting things in terms of your practice, but also this wider situation, you know, this brief moment of planetary reprieve and what lies ahead. One thing that strikes me is that during this period of isolation and, you know, connecting by screens, people have found quite extraordinary ways to reach out in the digital realm. I mean, there've been some incredible artistic initiatives. Oh, look, I think these have been wonderful platforms and wonderful other types of gatherings for artists. That's very international as well. And I think, I think really it, now I feel is a time where we need the imagination of artists so much. And we really need to be quite political about it to make it happen here in Australia. And I, I feel quite excited about those possibilities. I look forward always to working. I mean, and, um, and, and the diversity of ways you can work and the collaborative ways. And understanding that really around the whole world, there is this enormous movement, finally amongst artists, to really work for the caring for the planet and climate change. Well, Janet, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. And we'll speak again, I hope, in person very soon. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> Thanks. Sure.